Welcome back to the show. It is time for us to talk about what is trending on the internet. Yes, and uh, last night um, Fiona was trending with her friend. And, and this goes under the... It was innocent. Things you should learn about social media and things to be wary of and interesting Mike, effects of innocent things. Is it learning things. about social media or learning more about others? Because what happened was, here's the deal. We were at a, a, a dinner with friends, classic Sunday dinner, roast beef, York, Yorkshire puddings, gravy, and I was in charge of the gravy. So I tweet that I am an expert gravy stirrer. And, and then you hashtag, and I said, not, not a, a euphemism for something dirty. Because I thought it, it sounds dirty. I'm an expert gravy stirrer with my friend. And I said, it's just good gravy. Well, I had more retweets and comments about my gravy <laughs> than I ever have in my life. And I lost a couple followers, but then I gained like 20 in five minutes. And I thought, wow, I wonder if, if what, stirring gravy? Boy, you really stirred the gravy on that one, didn't you? I, I said to myself I, and my friend, I'm like, does stirring gravy actually mean something dirty? Because all the people that are following me are dudes. Well, The uh, worst part about this is you can see my response too down there. Mike saying, says, you, can you stir two mine. can stir my gravy. <laughs> totally a euphemism for something dirty. So when I get to work this morning, Mike informs me, and I'm not going to tell you what it means, but we learned things about stirring gravy. And I, just for the but record, was making dinner. You can say, like, you can put any two words together and now. And it's dirty. And it's going to be on Urban Dictionary somewhere, and it's going to mean something. So just be wary before you tweet where and you're... And stir your own gravy. Hey, are you carving the beef yet? You know what I mean? Like, wow, those are some baked potatoes. <laughs> Woo! Listen, Yorkshire pudding, move along. You so want you some said... cheese on the cauliflower? It's just everything eventually. If you put that entire sentence in Urban Dictionary, your computer and your mind will explode. May You'll explode. get lots of followers, it's a lesson learned. Uh, Saturday Night Live, we don't talk about it a ton, even though they, they really do find the funny a lot now. And especially you've got a great cast. in this age of different ways of consuming media. Uh, but, but in you Canada. Can't. Watch it in Canada. This drives me nuts. So if you don't watch Saturday Night Live in Canada, finding a clip of what you thought was funny to share with people Although and therefore VOD. build the audience, etc. VOD works, yes, but I can't on here. And I want to share it with people. Share then. So I'm showing you something that I taped, which is Bill Hader imitating Clint Eastwood and his now famous um, Chrysler Halftime in America commercial. I did. Anyway, it's very is, funny. Is you that get you my, giggling look, in the background? No, someone was making gravy. <laughs> I, just, I couldn't do it. Anyway, it's a bit frustrating because it's such a funny bit and it's so brilliant. And it would just be nice. I'm just saying, Share. whoever influences these things, CRTC, I know you're involved. NBC, I know you're involved. Just share. It's a new world. We can all see it. It's going to be all right. <laughs> do you think this will have any effect? Am I changing yes, the Michael. world? Yes, Michael. Thank you, Fiona. And the sharing rules are now changed. <laughs> Wait. And uh, there they go. Okay, right, uh, I've talked about it a couple of times. Mike hears from, about it on a daily basis. I am getting a puppy in a couple of weeks. His name is Chewbacca. He, he is cute. He's really cute. Look. And Mike. <laughs> that's really a dog. That's not like a toy or anything. That's a dog. This is the first that's picture. an actual life. He is. And there he is. That's his new photo. This and is how, your profile pic. How does the uh, the person who has Chewbacca now, how does she describe him? She says he's a maniac. <laughs> this is not going to go well. He's like that no, big. No, he's perfect. If anyone's going to have a maniacal dog, it's going to be yeah. me. Just don't let him get near water. It's like gremlins. It totally will be. He looks like a gremlin. His name is Chewbacca. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter, Chewbacca Forbes, because I'm crazy. And speaking of crazy, uh, you know how I love the cat videos on the internet? Well, I have one today. Wait, you didn't say, when are you getting Chewbacca? Oh, well, I said it. I'm getting him in less than a couple weeks. I don't know exactly. As soon as he's big enough to be. You come just home. wanted to show a picture of him? Yes. There's nothing funny. There's no, like, payoff for that story. You just want to show a yes. picture of your damn dog. Yeah. 
get used to it. All right, that works. <laughs> anyway, wow. do you still want to see a cat video or are you I, mad at me? No, I want to because every time we show a cat video on the show for the year 2012, we add $1 uh, per cat. To the cat. kitty. We're at an almost 90 bucks to the SPCA by the end of the year, so right. I'm sure we'll be This it. one is called Kitten Jump Fail. Enjoy. <laughs> Wait, slow mo, slow mo. You suck. <laughs> that was awesome. The cat's okay, people. He's okay. <laughs> Wait, He's I, totally fine. I love the back and forth. Is I that know, it's totally fine. <laughs> That's so good. I know. Anyway, I'm going to watch it again, but we're going to take a break. What Don't did forget. we do before the internet? I don't what did know. we do? We enjoyed these things at home by ourselves. Oh, man. We used to watch SNL on a real TV. And stir our own gravy. Subscribe we're to break. our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. Yep. Find us. Hunt us down. Stay outside our house. Whatever you like. His house. We'll be right back after this.